Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to mount a computer monitor on the wall. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, in front of us is our 24-inch Samsung computer monitor. We are going to mount this on the wall and we remove the base that connects right here. And in the event that you bought a wall mount that will require the removal of that base and part that goes here, and you want helpful guidance on how to do that, scrolling above is a step-by-step -step video on how to do that. Definitely check it out. However, from here, here is our mount, and we bought this on Amazon, and it was $12.99. This is a full motion mount. There's the model number here, and it fits all of the standard Visa bolt hole patterns of 75 by 75 millimeter and 100 by 100 millimeter, and corresponds to 3 inch and 4 inch square patterns. And that's basically this right here. We'll show you that here shortly once we open it. And again, universal TV mount fits virtually all TVs on the market with screen size up to 32 inches. Please check TV bolt patterns. And the third one, full motion, as I just mentioned, designed offers 60 degree swivel and 12 degrees tilt. Easy installation to single wall stud, heavy duty steel design with 44 pounds of carrying capacity. So let's go ahead and open it. Here it is out of the box and not too much to it. First thing I want to do is put it on our monitor and see if the holes line up. And as you can see right there, top portion right there to the right top and the right lower. So this mount is going to work perfectly with our monitor. And what I want to do now is change camera angles and show you how this moves. Check this out. This portion right here is what is going to be secured to the wall. And you've got the tilt. Basically, this is the top portion and you can tilt the monitor downward toward the floor. And the cool thing is you have these screws, one on each side, they're Phillips screws. And if you want to secure those screws or tighten them a bit, you can actually lock the tilt in place at the exact point you want it. However, we are going to have our straight, basically in line and flush with the wall. In addition, the mount itself tilt like that. So again, this is going to be secured to the wall. I'll show you the back. So pretty good product for only $12.99. From here, we're going to install it. We'll grab our Phillips screwdriver and remove both of these Phillips screws. With the screws removed, the bottom portion rests on a little tab here on each side. Just carefully pull those apart. Next, grab the hardware package that came in your box and we're going to direct our attention to A and B. The screws in here, we want to open each of them and see which one fits in our thread inserts best. First, we'll start with a screw in the A pouch and I use my browning buckmark knife to cut that open. Insert these inside and align your thread and YouTubers, this is very important your screw should go in extremely smoothly. If it doesn't, back it out and try the other one. In our case, this screw is a perfect fit. So we know from here, we are going to use all four screws in the A pouch. After laying the bracket on the monitor, the monitor itself is not perfectly flat. It has an angle to it. And to compensate for that, we are going to use the spacers in pouch D. And we are going to apply those in between the plate and the back side of the monitor, which will bring the top portion of the mount or plate in line. Go ahead and shift the plate to the side, grab a spacer and insert it over the threaded holes as shown here. And again, we're only applying spacers to the top. From here, realign your plate back over the holes and insert the screws. Making progress, I've got three screws in and take note of the position of the plate. Again, the screws that we took out a moment ago, those will be at the top portion. So again, position and secure your plate properly. And as you secure these screws, make sure you do not over tighten those. From here, let's head to the wall. Here we are at the wall. There's the box that the monitor came in and what we've got going on here this is for our security system and the company that came in to install the security system drilled that hole and ran this wire. And this wire isn't in use, however it will be. And the main purpose of this wire, we are going to attach our HDMI cable as well as our power cable and run them through the wall. And if you're curious on how we do that, scroll on above is a video, definitely check that out. However, back to the mount, we position the mount on the wall and drew our circles. What I did next was grab the mount, press it against the wall, I grabbed my level and from here, verify your mount is perfectly level and grab a pencil and mark your holes, both the bottom hole and the top hole. Here's what the top hole looks like without the level on it. Next, from this crease right here, 
all the way to where the wall makes a turn here is exactly 60 inches. And we made our mark points at exactly 30 inches, which is the dead center portion of that wall. And the instructions state that you should secure that mount into studs. However, we want our monitor dead center in that wall, and we are going to use drywall anchors. And YouTubers, we're not recommending this. However, if you want it centered, do it at your own risk. We are using 75 pound drywall anchors and that's what they look like. We are going to use two of them. Next, each anchor has a very fine needle point to it and that's what I used in the dead center of that marking to create an indent. From here, I'll grab my screwdriver and press this anchor into place and just carefully apply pressure as you turn the drywall anchor and it is going to begin carving a perfect circle and just carefully continue doing this until you go through the drywall. Secure the drywall anchor until it is flush with the wall. Do not over tighten it because you do not want to strip the internal plastic portion here. Back to the hardware pouch and I grabbed two of these C washers and we're going to insert those on the screws that go into the drywall anchors as shown here and secure the mount to the wall. One more thing I want to show you is the bottom hole of the mount is a perfect circle. The top hole is a more oval shape and that is to help compensate for any unalignment of your drill points into your drywall and into the stud. So the bottom portion will be secured and then you can shift the top portion ever so slightly to help you make the mount perfectly level. Bottom screw is in and secure. Grab your level, verify you are perfectly level and we can remove this. And on the back side, you should be perfectly aligned with your top drywall anchor or drilled hole for the stud. From here, I'm just gonna carefully secure the top screw. Top screw is secured. And again, before securing the top screw completely, you have the option of shifting the mount left or right to properly align your mount and make sure it's perfectly level. And that is what the back side looks like. From here, what we are going to do is make a separate video on how to run wires through the wall and make sure if you do that, you buy the proper cables, meaning make sure that they are in wall rated per code for safety purposes. And if you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to do that, definitely check out the video that scrolled above earlier in this video. All right, YouTubers, as you can see, we have an update and we made a video that we ran the cables inside the wall, down the wall, through the floor and into the room that has the DVR for our security system. And again, in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance or you just want to see how we did that, definitely check out that link scrolling above that we mentioned earlier. However, from here, I'm going to carefully undo the HDMI cord and the power block cord from the mount and... I'm going to go grab the monitor and secure it to the mount. And these little slots right here, those will rest on those prongs that stick out on the mount. And you will secure those two Phillips screws right here to secure the plate and monitor to the mount. There are the tabs that I was just mentioning. Monitor is in place, ready to be installed. And the connection points, both power cord and HDMI go on the bottom right corner. And what I did was use just standard Velcro that I got at Ace Hardware to secure the power block to the wall. And from here, I will pull that power cable back out and rotate it in a circle, basically like this, and then zip tie it. And from here, I can rest this on the mount. The connection point for the power block into the monitor will be perfectly in line. All right, YouTubers, there it is. I've got a level on top. And what we've done is leveled it on each side. As far as tilt, we did not want it angled down. However, what we can do is turn it if we need to. Either way, we like it dead center in the wall. And as far as the distance between each edge of the TV to that crease and that corner piece is the exact same measurement, 19 inches. That's when you take into consideration. From here, we are going to set up our wireless mouse and turn the monitor on.